Welcome to a new video from Excel Data Analysis Series PQB or Power Query Basics. This video PQ10, we are continuing to talking about data transformation. We are going to continue talking about merge queries, but in this video, we are going to see how we can use merge queries to compare between two tables. We are going to use different join types. The first join type is full outer, which will help us to bring all the values from two tables. And then we'll look at the inner join type, which will help us to bring the intersection between two tables. And also we're going to look at left ante, when we want to get the values in the first table only and finally the right ante which we are going to use when we are going to bring the data from the second table only in the previous video we looked at the join kind left outer which is performing something similar to the vlookup function in excel so, so if you want to watch the previous videos to start look at the merge from the beginning you can go to video pqb09 you can see the link in the description section below and also I'm, I'm going to put it on the top of the screen at end of this video in our practical example today we have two tables as you can see every one of these two tables contains a list of names the first list represent the students in the art class and the second list represents the students in the math class. First list contains around 275 names and the second list contains around 273 names. There is some names in common and there is some names only in one of the two tables. So what is required in this example? The first one I need to get the names for the two classes together mean it's an OR function if you are in the art class or in your R math class, I need your name here in the new list. The second one, I need only people in the art class. And then I want to see people in math only. And finally, I need the intersection between both tables. If you are in the art and in the math class together. So we are going to use power query. We are going to work on merge and we'll see different kind of joins in order to bring all this information together. In order to start, I need first to load these two tables inside power query. In order to do this, I'm going to select any cell inside the first table and then I'm going to data ribbon. On the left hand side, you'll see the get and transform section, which is power query. And I'm going to use this icon. If you hover on this icon, you see that it is from table or range icon. Just click on it and it will trigger the power query editor. In the middle, you'll see the preview of your table. It's only one column table, as you can see here. On the left hand side, you will see that the name inherited from the name of the table, which is art. And I have two applied steps. First one is the source. When the power query pointed to my table and then change type and you can see the power query automatically changed the type of this column to ABC or text, which is good for me. I think I am ready to load this table from the home ribbon on the left hand side, close and load, close and load two. It will close the power query editor and the import data dialog box will be opened. And because there is no need to load this query itself inside any table. I'm going to select only create a connection and click on OK. The queries and connection pane will open and you can see that you have only one query now in this workbook called art and it is connection only. Let me do the same for the second table. This time I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt A P T it will trigger again the power query editor here is the preview of your data the full name column the only column in this table on the right hand side the name of the query math inherited from the name of the table and you can see the same two applied steps i am ready to close and load close and load close and load two from the import data dialog box i'm going to select again only create a connection and okay and now you'll see that you have two queries. Now I'm ready to start my first merge. And remember that in the first task, I need to bring the names from the art and math together, meaning that I need the students that registered in both classes art and math, and I need them in one column in one list here. 
below this header in order to do the merge i'm going again to data ribbon from the left hand side get and transform data i'm going to get data and i'm going down to combine queries and then merge once i click on merge the merge dialog box will be triggered and it is divided into two sections as you can see in the upper section i'm going to select the first table which is art and in the lower section i'm going to select the second table which is math i have only one field in both tables so i'm going to select from the header the full name field in the first table and the full name field in the second table and automatically excel will examine the matches you can see here 263 matches out of 275 rows in the first table so now i need to select the proper join kind you can see the join kinds here the default is left outer which we used in the previous video in order to perform something similar to the VLOOKUP but this time I need to change this to full outer I'm going to select the drop down menu you can see here the third option is full outer which is all rows from both from both tables for sure now I am ready I can just click on OK the power query editor will be triggered again in the power query editor you'll see that a new query created called merge one and this is a default name given automatically by excel so let me change this to something that i can remember let me call it art or math and enter and if you look into the preview section you will find that i have a query with two columns first one coming from the first table which is art table and the second one coming from the math as you can see in the header here so let me first change the name of this header i'll call it art i'm going to select from the header double click and i will write art and enter so i have all the names here coming from the art class and on the right hand side you will see the matches coming in tables you will see here the value itself and on the right hand side coming from the math table if you want to preview the content of this table you can just select the white area the empty area here on the right hand side and you'll see down here the match coming from the math table so you have here Adil Ahmed and matching Adil Ahmed from the math class so now I need to expand this data in order to preview it correctly I'm going to use this double arrow here on the top of this column just I'm going to select it and then I'm going to expand don't forget to uncheck use original column name as prefix and then click on OK you can see here the names coming correctly and again I'm going to change the header double click on the header and write math and enter so I have here the names in the art and here you'll find the names from the math class and now I need to bring both together in one column I can do it very simple from the add column ribbon I'm going to select it and on the left hand side you'll see custom column I'm going to select custom column it will open the custom column dialog box first of all I need to give it a name this will be the name of the new column let me call it full name then I need to start to write my formula here in the custom column formula section so I'm going to this section and start to write my formula don't forget that power query editor is case sensitive so I'm going to use an if statement here so I'm going to start by writing if and then I have the available columns here on the right hand side I need the first column art so I'm going to select and I can click on insert it will put it here in the formula section so my first statement will be if art and then I'm going to use not equal and then I'm going to write null null is a value that power query can understand so if you try to read this carefully you will find that it is saying if the value in the art column is not equal to null please do something I'm going to write then and then I'm going to bring again the art column meaning that if the art value not equal to null then use the art value and then I'm going to write else 
and I'm going to bring from the available columns the math column meaning that again if the art value not equal to null then bring the value in the art column else bring the value in the math column so if I use this if statement it will bring the value from the art and if any of this value is null it will bring the value from the math and this will help me to put all the values in one column let me check if there is any error in this formula yes there's an error here the spelling of else is not correct let me rewrite it now I think it's fine and you can see here no syntax errors have been detected I can just click on ok a new column will be created called full name and here is the names coming from both classes together I can just change the type of this data to ABC or text here you go you have your data type is correct no need for the first and second column I need only the last column or the third column let me select from the header and right click and remove other column now I'm ready to load this query from the home ribbon close and load close and load to the power query it will be closed and the import data dialog box will be opened this time I'm going to load to a table and existing worksheet let me select e4 and click on ok a new query called art or math will be loaded and you have 285 rows in this new query and you will find a new table created here containing the names that registered in both classes let's continue now we need to bring the names that are in art class only so let's start doing the same I'm going to data ribbon from the left hand side get and transform get data combine queries merge the merge dialog box will be opened first table will be art same same second will be math I'm going to select the only field I have full name and full name the same matches 263 out of 275 the join kind this time will be left anti and you can see here rows only in first then I'm going to click on ok the power query editor will be opened and a new query will be created called merge one let me change to art only and enter if you look on the left hand side you will see that the, here is the names coming only in the art class and if you look at each of these tables it will be all the time null meaning that this is the final list I need just to load so I'm going to get rid of this column I'm going to select the math column from the header and from the home ribbon remove columns now I am ready to load this query close and load close and load to from the import data dialog box table existing worksheet g4 and ok a new query will be loaded and you can see the new table coming here with 12 rows next is to bring the students in the math class only and not registered in art class so in order to do this I'm going to do the same from the data ribbon left hand side get a transform get data combine queries merge from the merge dialog box I'm going to select art as the first table and math as second table I'm going to select the only field I have in the two tables full name and full name same matches 263 out of 275 this time the join kind will be right anti which is the opposite of the previous one I'm going to click on ok power query editor will launch and a new query will be created called merge one let me change to math only and enter if you look at the data preview section you'll see that I have again two columns first one is the null because I need the names that is not in the first table so I have on the left hand side I have all the nulls but if you select the empty area here on the right hand side you will see all the names in the math class only I need to get rid of this one so I'm going to select from the header remove columns let me expand this one I'm going to select from these two arrows and always uncheck use original column name as prefix and click on ok you will find that you have the list in the math class only now you are ready you can go to home close and load close and load 
to from the import data dialog box table existing worksheet i4 and ok a new query will be loaded 10 rows and you can see the table here containing names in math class only final one art and math together data ribbon left hand side get and transform get data combine queries merge first table is art second table is math let me select the only field that we have or only column full name and full name same matches 263 out of 275 this time the join kind will be enter which is only matching rows i'm going to click on ok power query editor will be opened and a new query will be created called merge one let me change to art and math and enter you will see on the preview data section the names coming from the art class and all the matches coming from the math class and both are identical you will not find any null in the first column or the second column you can check this by expanding this column here take the full name uncheck use original column name as prefix and you will find that there is no any null inside any of these columns so you have here the matches between the two which is the intersection between the two tables or people that inside math class and art class as well i need only one column of these two columns so let me get rid of the second one remove column now you are ready you can use close and load close and load to from the import data dialog box i'm going to select table existing worksheet and k4 and ok the new query will be loaded called art and math and you have 263 ro rows loaded which is student registered in both classes you can see here we perform four comparisons between these two tables we bring all names from both tables and then we get the names only in the art class and then names only in the math class and finally we found the matches or names are in the art and math class together i think very easy if you try to perform the same using the normal for excel formula it will take ages with very complicated formulas in the next video we are going to continue talking about merge queries but this time we are going back to the left outer join kind because we need to give you a couple of tips that you need to make sure that you are aware of while performing left outer join kind inside power query if you didn't subscribe yet to the channel please do like the video if you like it and leave me a comment i hope that was useful for you see you in the next video and bye